Here is a simple way to make a 360 degree video. The setup is fairly simple. What you're going to need is a semi mirrored light bulb, a tripod, a camera, and a lamp. Don't worry if you don't have a tripod. You can use something else to mount your project on. Looking upwards, the camera films directly into the semi-mirrored bulb. This gives you a 360 degree spherical video. From this spherical video, we have all the information required to make the panorama. What we need to do is go from XY coordinates inside the panorama to angle and distance inside the sphere. This can be achieved with the following equations, where r is the distance and phi is the angle. Now knowing this angle and distance, we can use this information to convert back into x and y in order to find the position in the sphere of the pixel needed inside the panorama. With these equations, we can create a mapping from spherical frames to panorama frames. Although the video is 360 degrees, since we captured it on a semi-sphere, we have to paint the top part black in order to project it onto a sphere. To project our panorama image, we're going to use an equirectangular projection. This allows us to project our image onto a 3D sphere. What you can see here is a rotating 3D semi-sphere. This represents a 3D reconstruction of what was visible to the semi-mirrored light bulb when the video was being captured. The results are quite impressive and are very similar to the image that was actually captured. There are some little differences. These are mostly due to the fact that the semi-mirrored light bulb isn't a perfect sphere. I find that the best way to enjoy a 360 degree video panorama is viewing it with a virtual reality headset like the Oculus Rift. This way you can really experience it. And this is actually easy to do with uh, Live View Rift, a small application that you can download. So there you have it, a simple and easy way to experiment with 360 degree video panoramas and virtual reality.